right, guys. I hope you're not tired of all my Instagram lives. I've been going on quite a bit today. As you can tell, I'm on vacation in Hilo. I've been running into some amazing people, um, people of the, the, the past that I've worked with. Uh, went to S. Tokunaga, ran into one of my old co-workers and friend, Teva Beatty. Um, then I came to Island Naturals, and I came to hang out with uh, the special gentleman over here. Um, he's a special gentleman right there, you guys. This is Uncle Gene Tomashiro right oh, there. Thank you, Gene. And I want to, I wanna, you know, he, like me, is passionate about Hawaiians on Hawaiian lands. And he, like me, is willing to stand up for those rights. And the thing that I love is that we're not always on the, the same strategic plan, but we're all going for the same thing, which is more food, more abundance, more space for our future generations of young Hawaiian children. And uh, I wanna show you guys some of the paperwork that this guy's got. Okay, so I'm gonna come on this side so we can get the actual Okay. actual meat and potatoes here so tell us a little bit about what this is okay ladies or, or wait let's do me yeah, a favor go yeah. back and explain what happened okay can do uh you want to be on camera or yeah yeah we're gonna do we're gonna do on camera wait, hold whatever, on right there whatever what is hi everybody okay gene thomas you're here yeah sovereign hawaiian fool i'm okay now and right but i'm lawful in my own country all rights reserved so we're working on and we've been doing this for 10 years now over 10 years returning Hawaiian lands into Hawaiian hands because why truth is sovereign so um, after many years everybody you know working their different kuleana to help return Pono to Hawaii what we did very recently because we're all learning and now we are asserting what we learn uh, this past Friday we went to Mitch Roth's office he's the mayor council chair Heather Kimball you can show right here yeah this is this right here can written, yeah? so here's Mitch Roth Mayor Heather Kimball, uh, Council Chair Ken Bugato Jr., Police Chief. He's acting Police Chief. No, and no act, bro. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth Strands, uh, Corporate Council, David Arnado, DLNR, State Pox, and Lawrence Turlip, Chief, uh, Branch Chief for the DLNR Officers or Dole Care. Now, I'm going to just read this because it's real quick, you guys. You quick. see all of these stamps here? Yeah, the stamps. These stamps confirm have meant that the offices that he has just spoken about have received this in their entirety. Proves our due diligence, yeah? Okay. You guys know about this kind, so here we go. This letter is to notify you, you being these six people, yeah? And your office that finally, after 10 years of Onipa'a litigation, Land Commission Award 7713 or LCA Apana 16 Victoria Kamamalu has been officially confirmed by the state of Hawaii judicial system in true status and title for the Aina surrounding Kamehameha statue in Hilo. Next page. Okay, this is a 1891 map and this is Pio Pio, which is LCA 7713 Apana 16. This is only two years before the kidnapping of our queen, so it's very up to date regarding, you know, the timing of uh, the scene of the crime back in Honolulu. But this is P.O.P.O. Pio. All right. So now here is state law. This is uh, HRS 172-11, okay, which confirms the fact that the state of Hawaii is not allowed, prohibited from alienating the Aina from the families of the LCA award, HRS 172-11. You guys can look it up. It came from capital.hawaii.gov, yeah? 172-11. Now here's the filing, because we planted Kanaka Garden for 10 years. And here's myself and three other people. Oh, I, don't, I by the way, I'm Okinawa and Uchinanchu, and these three, they haole, yeah? but all rights reserved in Hawaii because no slavery allowed on our soil. So mahalo to everybody, everybody involved. They stood with me and I crafted this true status declaration yeah, and affidavit of truth. So the question is what? When you get on controversy, who are you? Where do you say you are? And what is the law you operate in? So we clarified all that stuff in one and a half pages. And, and okay, and then we autograph. Yeah. Now it goes to 
the prosecutor and the prosecutor called me three weeks ago and she goes, you know what, Jean, your argument is solid. And uh, LCA's relative to LCA uh, HRS 172-11, I don't have the law to charge you. That's correct. For once in anybody's lifetime, you're actually honoring your oath to the U.S. Constitution. So the prosecutor, no le prosequa, some say prosequi, I'm not sure, but there it is. The prosecutor realizes she guys, don't know the law. She with don't know the law. prejudice means that they cannot bring Jean or these people to court again on these charges. Or anyone in our status, anyone in true status, all rights reserved. Because there's only one law on earth, ladies and gentlemen. And oh, on this particular case, the judge, Judge Hawk, agreed. State's motion, no le prosequi, you know more the law, with prejudice. For that, I know. So what does that mean? This Aina right here has returned to Kingdom Law. God's law on earth, right here. This is a microcosm of the procedure to return God's natural law through correcting land title. So here's how we, that's how we get Coins, it. I need you to hear this, okay? I need you to hear this, okay? They're fighting for land and they're winning in court in Hawaii against the state this is important because we've always said this yeah the law and justice are very often not the same this was about justice for all of you standing on lands that belong to hawaiians let this be so clear it is all stolen land the state of hawaii does not have jurisdiction and thank you to gentlemen like gene here that are willing to fight and get arrested and go to court and do the paperwork and spend 10 years to find the truth. Yeah, we've been doing it. We've been doing it a long time. And we're not, you know, we're not, it's no personal attack to anybody because we were all born into this heba. And now we have the tools and, you know, God bless really the prosecutor and the judge because they actually honored their oath to the U.S. Constitution. Hawaii's true status is confirmed. So use the truth, apply the truth to return God's law in God's kingdom. That's practicing liberty and justice, you guys, for all you Americans out there. Welcome home. Ekomo mai. Welcome home. Yeah, you guys. You heard it. <laughs> right. Directly Thank from you. Uncle. You guys have a blessed day. If you have any questions, call him. Not me. No, no, uh. Give, give, call give, me give, too. Oh, give my number. Give my number. Uh, 808 We're creating jural assemblies on Kauai on Oahu, on Maui, and certainly on this island, all the people, Hawaiians and Americans, united in Keokua's law to protect our God-given rights. That's what we gotta do for each other. I got your back. Love you guys. Mahalo Keokua. Aloha mai kako, aloha ka ohana. Hope you guys all doing extremely well on this beautiful morning. Uh, we are currently in Hilo Bay. And I don't know if you can tell from around, behind, on the side, but there's actually a new site in Hilo Bay. If you ask anybody to tell you that Uncle Daniel he follows his heart, his na'au, and he prays to be at the right place at the right time. And I feel like today, seeing this grove get planted in just about an hour speaks to that. Guys, we're on supposedly state park lands, and it's important that we understand, I need you all to know this, the state park does not have title to any of their lands. They don't have title to not one piece of land because there's no treaty of annexation. There was no way to pass on the title to the state in a legal manner. So they just assumed and took it. And as long as we, the people of Hawaii, continue to allow them to operate in this fashion, we will always be hungry. Their assurance is our hunger and insecurity because then we need them. 
If the oceans are plentiful and the land is plentiful and we are secure on the land, what do we need a state mommy and daddy for? So my question to you, Kako, is when are you gonna plant your coconut orchard on so-called state lands? Here in Hilo, Jean Tamashiro, after 10 years of engaging the judicial system, after getting arrested, going to court, this Okinawan, this Okinawan has done what many Hawaiian families are currently working on and working towards. This is a sign, Kako, that the state is in despair. Yes, everybody! Oh, Daniel, we love you so much. Mahalo for coming. Well, came back with you guys. In your love. We love you. You guys. I'm just a simple pawn. People give me way too much credit. I, I'll be honest, I, I don't deserve any of it. I wanna inspire you out there Continue to follow to these practices, yeah? Continue these practices and plant. The moon waits for no one. And the farmer's canoe, always. So keep planting as Uncle Bobby says. Keep putting your eye in the ground. Know that the coconuts is a symbol of resistance across the world, especially across the Pacific. This is a plant that has shown us its resilience. It rises with the tide. It grows in the salt. It is just like the Kanaka, yes, of the land and of the sea. Let me show you guys how beautiful this site is. Yeah? Kanaka Maoli and Malahini planting together. Keikioka Aina, Kama Aina, visitor, planting. You guys, I gotta tell you, this is a beautiful site. Instant coconut grove, instant Uluniu, Bayfront here in Hilo. I just encourage you guys this Thursday at 11 o'clock, bring your pohaku. Ahu will be built. The Ahu needs to represent all those that want to participate because your pohaku will remain here for eternity. Yes, and it's so important that we all come together and recognize that only through planting will we be food secure. The Aina never has once said, you're not Hawaiian, no plant. The Aina has said, plant with the Hawaiians. That's what it's about, Kako. Yep, yep, guarantee. So for all you guys out there, I don't want to take too much time. This is a major Hawaii during this Makahiki season. Yes, that under 30 years of occupation, the opportunities to lift this veil of oppression is in our hands. Stay dirty, guys. I love you a lot. You guys all have a blessed day. Aloha Aina until the last breath. Ew. Yeah, that's what they're fighting over there. Fighting over the right for sell us out. Because all the guys that not fighting is the guys that know that, that we servants of this land. So I asked this Aina, what does the Aina want? Yeah, exactly what because you get in your truck. our goal <laughs> yeah, oh. is, is only going to be the Aina. But I will tell you this, yeah. What kills all of these things is inaction. Yeah? Yes, sir. Inaction. And I and I and I and I see it all over the place. Everybody like wait for make sure that everything good. It will never be good until we overthrow this system. Never. It's all around our pie Aina. Every beach. Never had one coconut grove. They banned them, they illegal. Yeah. Yeah. So to me, the symbol yeah. of planting new mm. is important. It shows resistance. Now, how do we do that without hurting feelings? Yeah? yeah? Because the intention, yeah, when we canoe, we planting for those that we never gonna meet. Yeah. yeah, I hate to offend any of the kupunas, but by the time these trees give, you gonna be dead. So, to me, we should ask the babies, 
Yeah, the little kids, yeah. how you babies feel, should we generation. cuddle? Because yeah. that is who we planting for today, Boy, not us. Yeah. Amen. I pray. I say, God, I bad at praying. God said, Daniel, when you work, that's your prayer. Yeah. Yes. And all the guys go to church that, that they're praying. That's fine, but that's not your path. Your path is your prayer, is the OO, is the pick, is the shovel. So today I say, if you guys open, we pray with Kanu. And what we're going to pray for, we're going to pray for the descendants who come and see. And if they come because they're mad, then they're here. If they come because they're glad, then they're here. If they come for pull out the coconut tree, well, that was your kuleana. And now you got to plant them someplace else. Because this is one thing that we look around, the kuleana has been forgotten. Yeah, completely forgotten. What people fighting over is the right to sell the land. Yeah. That's what they're fighting over there. Yeah, he's not wearing masks now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay gentlemen, huh? just so you guys know, okay, you're, you're Ford. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that. Which one is your James? James? Yeah, you know him, right? Yes. Yeah. So, let me ask you. I'm too with all of them. Oh, yeah. You guys, right. well, we're not, like I said, we're not getting, we're not getting involved. We're going to go through the we stuff, so we're not. Yeah, the DLNR is making the claim now about this. Yeah. So the don't care guys maybe gonna show up. Yeah. So they're, they're trying to get in, in touch with them. And okay. Them yeah. All so right? gentlemen, just so you know, uh, we went to your boss, uh, Ken Bugato Jr. He's acting chief there now. So we went to Mitch. This was Friday. Yeah, everybody's stamped. Yeah. Police department one or thing right here. Yeah, that right there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mitch, Heather Kimball. Police Chief Bugato, uh, Corporate Counsel Strands, DLNR, David Arnado State Parks, and Lawrence Turlop Dokia. Yeah? So this sign here is Land Commission Award 7713, Apana 16, Victoria Kamamalu. Here's the map. This is the exact copy that your boss got. This is the Pio uh, Pio, which is Apana 16. And it goes from the ocean all the way to the bridge, Manolo Bridge. And then from this side, actually including the state office building to um, uh, Cafe 100, right next year. Yeah, so that's this right here. And we're doing this, thank you so much for being a law gentlemen. Uh, we're doing this in accordance to even uh, your state law, and that is uh, HRS 172-11, which prohibits the state and uh, agents of the occupying corporation, God bless you, from alienating uh, the Aina from LCA awardees, original family, yeah? And so the Naohana family to Victoria Kamamalu, this is Chad Ha, and Kevin Kamaili. And okay. so, you know, we've been doing this many, many years, and I didn't even know about 172-11. So mahalo kia kua that, you know, we have uh, seen that, and so now Prosecutor uh, uh, Cooper and Judge Ha, they went sign on. This is our case number. Sure. You got my uh, notice yet? I did, yes. Thank you. Oh, I spelled your name wrong. You did, you Shucks. did, but that's all right. I knew who it was for. Thank you. Yeah. How are hey, you doing? Excuse me, man. Hello, good, good. Okay. So, so you had, you know, what? Thanks. Okay, so um, the reason why I'm here, um, you're getting arrested for um, planting on government property. You saw, okay. you saw okay. the notice. Wait, 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 no, no, please no, you wait. Get a, you get an arrest. You saw the notice. No, no, I did. Yeah, okay. well, turn around. And, and okay. please turn around. film this. Can I give okay. this to, back okay. to my people? Go ahead. It's just okay. paperwork. Okay, gentlemen. Now, so I got to go. Let him at least stop. So on, what, on what charge okay. am I being arrested? You, you made a claim that this is state property. Yeah. Okay, you have proof of that? Yeah. Okay, so you have proof of that? I'm not, I'm not carrying them with me. Okay. But, um, after you, Paul. Booked and processed when it goes to court. That's when. Genius that's when papers right here that shows. Uh, I have I papers. You. I got. You, sir. I got papers right here. You saw yeah, I have the, the paperwork. I have the paperwork that, so that you why, sent me. why, if I okay. give you, if I give you paperwork that the judge confirmed, true title and the law that you think you have the right now to do this, I ask you why. Look at me and tell me why. Well, I already told you why. You're no, being you never arrested. tell me why. I don't, I don't have to. I just need to tell you why you're being arrested. Well, no, because you're doing harm to me now. Okay. And I never do no harm to you. Okay. Now we went. We've been through this for ten years now. We have. And yes. the judge and the prosecutor, two judges, two judges, when sign off, true title in the law. Okay. 
And uh, even you guys okay. law, HRS 172-11. So who ordered you okay. to do this? Thank you, Gene. Lawrence, who ordered okay. you to do this? Come on, brother. No problem. See, you know you're doing him on my brother. Please, yeah? So we all going to go to court. This is a nation to nation, yeah, controversy. And we know we got the law. Yeah, they can take that stuff. No problem. Uh, my keys, give it to my wahini right now. Take mine. So, um, thank you very much. At least, uh, hope. Yeah, see, we're picking up glass from behind. So, why, wait, if I give you, if I give you paperwork that the judge confirmed, True title in the law that you think you have the right now to do this. Yes. I ask you why. Look at me and tell me why. I already told you why. No, you never to. tell me why. I don't, I, I don't have to. I just need to tell you why. You yeah, you do. You got to tell doing harm to me now. Okay. And you. I never do no harm to you. Okay. Now we went. We've been through this for ten years now. We have. And the judge and the prosecutor, two judges, two judges went sign off. True title in the law. And even your guy's okay. law, HRS 172-11. Okay. So who ordered you okay. to do this? Thank you, Gene. Lawrence, who ordered okay. you to do this? Come on, sir. Come on, sir. You are proud of me. You know what you're doing here, my brother. Please. So we all going to go to court. This is a nation to nation yeah, controversy. And we know we got the law. Hold on, that's his stuff. If he says, if he says that you can have it, you can take it. Oh, my keys, give it to my money. So, um, thank you very much. At least, uh, oh. Yeah, we're picking up glass from behind. Do you mind if I ask what law he's being, what law he's uh, Yeah, give it to me. Yeah, what is the what is the charge? What's the law that he's on? No, no, you're just citing law that we've already corrected already. But we should be doing this. We should be doing this, gentlemen. Effort and futility. Effort and futility. We should be doing this, you know, in a peaceful did, did way. You have a this is not a peaceful oh, way. Right here. Can we okay. put it in? Can we put yeah, that change put inside this bag? In okay. okay. Here you go. Uh, okay. All right. Dude. So no, no worries. Okay. Um, so what happens when you get a bullet in the large line? Going in, I'm going in to see people. This is your okay. taxpayer's money, hard at work. So God bless everybody. Okay. The truth and the law. When you get bully in school, you see the bully. One you see the bully. One minute. Tell the bully. One minute. Everyone. All right. Um, you guys and what? Know you can clean. Or they get on job for two. Right? Yeah. yeah. No problem. That's where you guys taxpayer's money, bro. Right here. Where do I come? So where do we work in? Live and affair. Okay, done. Okay. Yeah, that's our bill building too. Yeah, because you know, guys money doing money paperwork, for your yeah. procedure, and but you guys taxpayer money work against you, not for you. Tell the bully. Yeah, you guys work for us. These guys think they're king ding a ling. You guys are like. Civilians with badges. You guys are the insurgents. So go to court. We're going to straighten it out. Because it's already straightened out. And everybody get one chance to honor their oath to God's law. And for you guys, U.S. Constitution, Article 6, Clause 2, Supremacy of Treaties. Thank you very much. This is okay. what happens when you give civilians badges. Civilians okay. with badges who's, um, and guns. What stuff is this? Is anybody going to claim this mine. stuff? Because yeah, if no mine. one claims it... That's mine. Okay, you need to take it down now because there's no permit on file to erect anything in the park right now. So you have to take it down now. Dave. Okay. 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 How about those guys over there? Huh? Titled huh? lands. What about them? This belong to our Ohana. Double standard? You guys got a double standard here? You guys gotta wake up and smell the coffee here, brother.
Yeah, this ain't even your property. This ain't in your property. All this stuff is there. Oh, he's just got to load up the genius car. All this stuff? Yeah. Yeah, he just told me to do it, too, so I better stop. Now he's going to come. Bullies. You can get civilians. It's the same thing happened in uh, 1893. Civilians, civilians with guns. Civilians, with, civilians with guns. Insurgents. These are the insurgents. The state. The state is the insurgent. Taxpayers money, hard at work, everybody. That's what happened when you paid a bully in the lunch line. You see? So keep on paying you guys lunch money to the bullies. Because this is what the bullies do. Okay? You're just citing law that we've already collected on it. But we should be doing this. We should be doing this. That's okay, because now you can get a lawsuit against them. Peaceful way. This is not a peaceful way. Oh, right here. Can we put yeah, that change inside this bag? No worries, Gene. That's what happened when you paid a bully in the lunch line. See, people, this is your taxpayer's money, hard at work. So, God bless everybody. Okay. When you get bully in school, this is the bullies. You see the bullies? We'll grab them. No, they grab them already. But okay. be careful because I think these guys trying to set you guys up to give you guys a citation. Okay. Okay. That's why um, I'm concerned because Ricky will call you guys eh? and Yeah. And Ricky will call you guys. Who, whose truck is that they loaded them up on? It's a state and county. Oh, okay. Yeah. You well, I tell you what, if I get one citation, I get one citation. I yeah. get arrested, I get arrested. Yeah, so just give me a heads up. I appreciate it, Uncle. Thank you. Okay. Oh, as always it goes, huh? Like I said, the wind blows. What tree we need? We need the new, yeah? That shows you how fearful they are of our ancestors actually canoeing to this ground. And all we can do is post them. We're going to fight back. We got to. We got to hold the course. We're going to load this up and then... Okay, okay. Yep, thank you, Uncle. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hello, Uncle. So as Uncle said, look like Dale and I might be setting up a trap. They like give citations, issue warnings, etc. But, um, look, guys, this is the truth. We cannot be afraid. We cannot be afraid. we we'll go around. Come on, Going to waste, hey, Uncle, don't worry, Uncle. No, no, the right back. Give us the option. You know that they were going to take them and destroy them, so. Yeah. We pull them. Pull them, pull them. Pull them. We better things with them. Yeah, That's why yeah. Who's filming this, too? Yeah, yeah. The bullying. The bullying has started school, guys. Start yeah. The nation of lies. Hey, guys, take a look right over here. You see these uncles? You see these uncles right there? If that's your uncle, guys, i sorry. i sorry that's your uncle. The truth is, they're all calling their bosses because Uncle Daniel just wouldn't show up and they're making big body over here. But that's all right. Look, guys, remember this whole field? We just went kind of this field. But this is just the reality of what we got to do. Kako, the time is now. Don't take any shit from the state as far as them telling you that you cannot grow food for your family. Never forget about native tenant rights. Never forget, you guys, that their jurisdiction comes from this. That's all they have. They have guns. And when you see guys 
when you see them in bulletproof vests, yeah, bulletproof vests against brothers planting coconuts. Oh, where no ho here. Oh, where we was planting for the next generation, we was planting for the babies too. But what you gotta understand, guys, is these guys are shallow, yeah, they're here for their job, they say it's for their job. I say quit your job, get one real job, support your community. That's what we need. We need real men, not the kind of sheep that would follow any type of silly rules because they feel like the rules is for them to make and break. Let me tell you, every single rule they make, they break. It's a rule of lies. So, we here, we're gonna clean this up, but we like tell you guys the truth. State Parks has no jurisdiction. They're going to go court. They're going to lose again. They're going to lose again in court. Why? Because they have no standing other than their guns. So I say our bullets are coconuts. Yeah. That is our ancestors from across the Pacific, across the planet. This has been our ancestors for countless generations. We are connected to the new. We are planted deep within the lepo, yeah? And these guys live such a great life at the expense of every single one of us. Just to let you know, if you're having a hard time, it's because someone has a great job oppressing you. Someone loves to show up to work every single day and oppress our community. And they do that without hesitation because of the paycheck. And they claim that they're doing it for work for their family. Guess what, guys? We're doing this for their families as well. Because their children, their future generation can't eat bullets, can't eat paychecks. This is our food source. Earlier today, super stoked for Kanu. Now we're back here. No worry. These all gonna get Kanu. The truth is that we here, we are not going anywhere. That this battle has been 130 years of belligerent occupation by the United States and their forces. And the high Hawaiians, and we love you guys too. We're not against you guys. We're there for your kids and your grandkids and the unseen kids. But we must remember to document your heva. State parks, this is your heva. Yeah? Here the people are trying to ensure that we have food security for generations to come. Yet... Every coconut tree that you cut down, every park that remains fruitless for our community is under your watch. I wonder who's in charge of state parks, because maybe that's the guy that should be responsible. Uncle Dan, you're going to get back to work. We're going to load these up. Wishing the best for all you out there in Lahui land. You guys, you know we're doing them right when they come out of the woodwork like termites in bulletproof vests and start arresting people when they've already lost in court. You guys stay tuned. I'm sure more action to come. We love you guys. Have a blessed day. Aloha. What's up, Kako? Uncle Daniel's back. Whew, that was a quick one today. Plant 185 coconut trees. Right after that, DLNR come down, pull out 185 coconut trees. I like you guys look at this mound of coconuts right over here, you guys. Because I'm going to tell you, when people say that there is no reason, we have no want for planting coconuts. I'm going to again show you piles like this. Yeah? Because the reality, you guys, is the state of Hawaii, DLNR, Kurt Cottrell, would prefer that you starve. When farmers are planting on ancestral land of Hawaiians, yeah? Where we were planting was proven in court to be the lawful land of Victoria Kamamalu and her descendants. And that the court case was already won. But again, winning in their court means nothing because they just changed the rules. If you've ever seen the work that we've done, know that we've done it never with their blessing but with full knowledge that we are in the lair of those that would wish to oppress us. Yet what happens during oppression is either you break or you become stronger. This by no means breaks us. This just shows us that next time we need to plant 5,000 trees.
because the reality, you guys, is that the state of Hawaii has one million MREs in case of an emergency, which is basically about two thirds of one meal, which will mean if we are ever in a situation where the ships stop coming or there's an earthquake somewhere else or we're impacted by the storms, we have no secure food system. Every coconut tree that is fully bearing represents two weeks worth of food and water. What Hawaii desperately needs, we need 1.5 million coconuts planted today so that in seven years we are prepared. Just like the ancestors were prepared. Because if you were gonna tell me that there was no hurricanes pre-1778, or that somehow there were ships full of food coming to save the people in Hawaii prior to contact, we must all be reminded that when Captain Cook came, he came hungry. And every visitor that comes equally comes hungry. How do we feed them if not from our lands? People, this is a clear attack on the integrity, yeah, on the integrity of the system that we live in. You see, DLNR, there is fear-based decision-making and there's integrity-based in decision-making. What type of decisions are you making? That's my question. And what I've seen countless time and time again is that fear-mongering rules. People, as long as we are hungry, they are in control. The moment we are well fed, the moment we are secure in our lands, that is when their control ends. The truth is, is that they were never in control. They have just been subsidized beyond subsidies. Because the truth is that these guys have operated unsustainable from day one. As people fight for their sustainability again and again and again, we will be forced to engage the government. A government who is not hungry because they're paid to make us hungry. If you are facing a time when you're hungry, know that that is by design. If you have ever walked through fruitless Aina, if you've ever seen a place as beautiful as Hawaii, full of resources with no food, understand that is the design of the leadership. Let us remember, let us remember that the prediction was not the institutions would save us. The prediction wasn't that the government would save us. The prediction was that the farmers would rise. And so they have spent the last 130 years basically annihilating the farmers. No more, I say. For in my household, I have six farmers that sleep under that roof. I have one more farmer in the belly of my wife. These farmers depend on the land. They depend on more than just the land that they live on. They depend on the connection from the mountains into the sea. I ask you guys to pray for the agents of DLNR. I ask you to pray for the leadership of DLNR that they would never feel the hunger that we feel. And the truth is that they should not feel that hunger if we continue to plant. Remember that the state of Hawaii has claimed to have a law which 30% of our food source will happen by 2030, which means we need triple the amount of farmers in the next seven years. Considering I have seven kids, soon to be, I might be one of the few guys that is able to do that. I shake my head in sadness and sadness that the leaders must retaliate against the basic commoners, the basic people, the very bottom. Yeah, no grants were used 
to plant the 185 coconut trees, zero grants, zero, yeah, zero subsidies. Activated Kanaka showed up like that, yeah. The new gathered like that. The planting happened like that. Except the state paid to remove them. They spent your money, Kako. Your hard-earned tax dollars were spent today by people that tonight are going to rejoice with Heinekens and Costco meals. Yeah? That they would show up with bulletproof vests and guns against people that are planting. The line has been drawn. Those that are planting on the land and those that are pulling out the plants know which side of the line you are on. Kako, I ask you, I ask you to pray for them because they need salvation. I ask you to pray for us that all those that stand against us, yeah, would seek the truth in their now. The truth, no matter which way you cut it, will always be the truth. These lands are all Hawaiian lands in title. Thank you, Kawikeo Oli, for creating a system to recognize Pono. But Pono, without the people, without anyone to hold it accountable, will never be felt. It is up to us, Kako. Let us rise together. Let us plant together. Let us feed our community together. And for all those that would say, Uncle Daniel, here's 50 reasons why nobody should listen to you. I say, listen to your heart. Listen to your na'au. Strong, help your brothers out, make your mother proud, buy your mom's a house. I 
fuck off a mountain You get the fuck off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love more than we scare your guns Get the fuck off a mountain You get the fuck off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love more than we scare your guns Open our eyes to see a better way Work together for a more collective say Not go half a call it, go all the way We living in a blessed era of Max Holloway It is what it is, us champs grind every day Steady banging, I know all Hawaii nay Jedi guardians of the galaxy, non-fiction, non-fallacy Our home, not a theme park, museum or gallery Off the grid, down in the valley Living sustainably and happily What we need, we get plenty Nobody crank it, go easy spank it With your hanky panky, ho ante Making big noise and we got them listening Chanting, singing, dancing and we whispering In a battle never ending, mount a defending, trending This rebellion beginning to the happy ending Get the flock off our mountain You get the flock off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love More than we scare of your guns Get the fuck off our mountain You get the fuck off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love More than we scare of your guns In this circle of assassins We use words as weapons Tearing tyranny apart While we teaching lessons Chanting down this Babylon system on pressing Lighting up the darkness Cleaning messes and spreading blessings Ready, willing, and restless Key out your frontliners in the trenches Ready to wreck shit Dug in deep on heavy gangster beat Bring the heat, never back down Surrender or retreat Small victories, slight adjustments Press repeat, our stories We now speak, we no need sneak Nature over concrete Is how we snatch in victory From your jaws of defeat Rah! Get the fuck off a mountain You get the fuck off our mountain Cause we will never run Cause we love More than we scare your guns <laughs> Thank you.